Hi, and welcome back to C1 Risk Training. Today, we're going to be showing you how to connect your assets to the risk register. So just a quick note um, before we go into the assets module. So in your risk register, when you create a new risk register item, um, note that you will actually be asked to associate it with an asset. So that process is actually taken care of to some extent when you're building your risk register. However, if you want to associate a uh, an asset to a risk later on, um, you can of course always do this in uh, multiples. So you can um, always add additional assets to your risk register. You can do it from the risk uh, record itself. So we can just go into details here, go to edit and add the asset here just by doing a lookup. Now you'll see that asset. If I go to the actual asset now, you'll see that this one now has that risk register added to it. That was the BCM one that I just added. And uh, let's just do it from the asset type as well. You can also do it from the asset itself. So I'm going to go to my application. Let's go to my application B. And you see, I've already got some risks uh, associated to this one too, just the one. I'm going to add a new one now. So I'm just going to look up from my risk register and add the one that I want to add. I want to um, add uh, unauthorized access to this application. So now I put this in, you can see uh, I have that risk register attached now. Just one thing to see as well, as I bring that risk in, it's also going to update the number of controls that I have. It automatically brings any internal control that's associated to that risk over to your asset as well. So it will update your summary uh, here, your dashboard in terms of the number of controls that control strength based upon the control strength of the internal controls and your average residual risk score based upon the number of risks. So you see, I haven't updated it yet. So now I'm just going to click refresh and you'll see it's changed because I've got now two risks and I've got a different control strength as well. Okay. So similarly, just last thing then, if you want to, um, add, risk to your assets and uh, you don't see it when you in the lookup and you want to create a new one you can just uh, add new here and then this will be added to the risk register and note that i've actually moved over to the risk register here so that's going to save or again similarly of course from that risk register um, list view here you can just add a new risk and connect your asset okay so that concludes our training for today thank you very much